Here's another common question. Hey doc, does semaglutide come in the oral form? Absolutely. Semaglutide does come in the oral form. It's called rebelsis. My name is Dr. G and I'm an internal medicine doctor here in Hollywood, Florida. And I specialize in lifestyle modification and treating patients with chronic issues such as obesity, um, diabetes, high blood pressure, etc. One of the main questions I get when doing consults with patients for semaglutide is, hey doc, does this thing come in the oral form? And it does, it's called rebelsis. Semaglutide comes in the pill form called rebelsis. It's the only one that is FDA approved, but not for weight loss. You can get it if you're a diabetic patient and you need better control of your diabetes. You're not getting it with metformin and other medications that may cause you to have hypoglycemia. The semaglutide rebelsis does not have that side effect of causing hypoglycemia, which could be dangerous for some patients. So that could be an election that you make with your, with your doctor because semaglutide in the oral form rebelsis is less apt to have that happen. Another advantage of semaglutide is it appears to be cardioprotective in the oral form, not as effective in the doses that we have right now, three, seven, and 14 milligrams respectively for vis-a-vis -vis the, um, the injectable form, but it is indicated in patients with cardiovascular disease, um, established cardiovascular disease and diabetes as an adjunct um, medication to other medications you may be on, like metformin um, or the SGLT2 um, class of medications for um, controlling diabetes. So it, it, but they're also doing a lot of trials right now trying to get semaglutide in the oral form rebelsis to be uh, just in, you know, standalone initial therapy to control diabetes all by itself before even adding metformin or anything else. Um, there are trials that are ongoing right now trying to see if um, higher doses, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams in some cases of uh, rebelsis is beneficial in um, for weight loss and for cardiovascular protection. So these companies are not, you know, standing pat on this medication. They're trying to find more indications for these medications. And it looks like they're, you know, I, I, it, from what I see, from, from the information that we're getting from the trials that are, you know, the, the bits of information that come out of these trials as they're ongoing, um, it, it looks like they're, they are promising. Um, they're, they're not finished, so we can't make a, you know, a definitive yes or no of what's gonna happen with um, semaglutide in the oral form as far as for weight loss and for cardiovascular protection all by itself, or even for renal protection that you know um, the other medications have gotten, the injectable medications, some of the injectables, uh, GLP-1 agonists have gotten some approval in the case of diabetes and CKD or chronic kidney disease. Um, they've gotten FDA approval for those, uh, but we have not gotten any indication yet that the oral form of uh, semaglutide, which is the only, it's the first one in the class that has um, FDA approval for type two diabetes um, add-on therapy, and in um, the cases of add-on therapy, when you want to uh, protect a patient either with cardiovascular disease or you, um, you want to protect patients from um, bouts of hypoglycemia. Now, the question you're going to ask, or m the people who come into here and come into my office ask is, well. Uh, can I use it for weight loss? Uh, the answer to that question is no. You shouldn't use it for weight loss because we don't have FDA approval. We don't have trials yet that show that it has um, the, the safety and efficacy um, to promote weight loss without any of the you know, untoward side effects that we look for when we're, we're trying to approve medications for, you know, for use in humans. Um, for whatever the indication is. So what I'm trying to say is there is no um, trial yet, yet, but I'm sure there's going to be one soon that comes out to prove whether or not uh, rebelsis can be used in, for the indication of obesity like its big brother Wagovi has right now, um, has the indication for injectable, the injectable form has the indication for Wagovi, which will be a big step. Um, we, I, I love the fact that we have this medication now to help type two diabetics control their diabetes. And I will say that the trial does show um, about four to four to five kilogram weight loss 
in um, the patient in the treatment group um, for diabetes. So it, it did promote weight loss, but it doesn't have the FDA approval yet for weight loss. So it's one of those one of those things like, yeah, it's going to be approved for your diabetics. Um, they will be able to use the medication to control the diabetes and they will also enjoy um, some weight loss. But if you don't have type 2 diabetes and you have, you know, you have, you fit the profile of what would be um, for the, you will be approved for the, the injectable indications, which is, um, you know, 27% or greater 27% to 30% with um, some of the, the, the comorbid diseases like uh, heart disease or kidney disease or uh, hi hypertension, the ones that may cause complications because you're above 27% of a BMI, you would be basically meet the indications for the injectable form of Wegovy. Above 30% of BMI, with, with or without diabetes, you, um, you, you do make the, you do reach the indication, the indications for the medications. Um, there. We've talked about that on this, this channel and um, don't want to go back into the weight loss aspect for Revelsis and I don't want to confuse you. I, I want to, as of today, as the, as the posting of this uh, video, Revelsis has an indication for type 2 diabetics who need tighter control but want to avoid hypoglycemia or have some sort of cardiovascular component where they need some protection and there's showing some promise there. So those are the, the type of patients that would be best for rebelsis. So if you ask me, and, and I've been asked in the comments section um, here, hey, tell me more about rebelsis for weight loss. I can't. I can't tell you anything about rebelsis directly for weight loss right now because the trials have no evidence. I have no evidence to talk about it, but for my diabetics out there, if you are afraid of the needle or you're just not, you know, not keen on um, injecting yourself on a daily basis, I'm sorry, injecting yourself on a weekly basis, um, it's an option for you to jump into the S, uh, to the GLP-1 agonist game with um, the one oral, orally approved medication, um, Rebelsis which is semaglutide in the oral form. Great medication, great outcomes from the trials. So uh, I guess let's say that you have options, All right, my type two diabetics out there who, who wanna get better type, um, glycemic control. Now, does that mean that you don't have to, you know, watch your diet or change your lifestyle or, you know, get, um, get back to exercise? Absolutely not. Diet, exercise, lifestyle modification, and behavioral modifications are the basis and the, you know, the foundation of all, um, all treatments for, for type 2 diabetes, for um, hypertension, for obesity. All of these chronic, um, these chronic conditions would benefit from, you know, a, a good nutrition knowledge base and also actually doing the things that you, you learn about your nutrition and, and you know, tightening up on your or your caloric intake and making sure you're getting the proper amounts of the macronutrients um, your your fats your proteins and your your carbohydrates so those things cannot be substituted for just taking a medication in any case i think that's uh it's a great opportunity if you do have type 2 diabetes and are just not at goal yet goal being for most diabetics um seven percent or lower uh, we allow some other patients to get to 8% based off of the hypoglycemia and usually our elderly elderly patients, we get a little bit more, you know, lenient on, on, on getting them below 8, especially if they've had hypoglycemic episodes or falls or things like that. So again, Rebelsis is the semaglutide in an oral form. It does exist. It's not yet received FDA approval for weight loss. So please, you know, I... Let's get to it. I mean, we have, uh, you know, I've, I've seen um, the advertisements on, you know, social media and I've seen them on, you know, come across the screen when you're, you're basically, basically uh, you're on the internet and searching for things. Um, there are, you know, places that are um, compound pharmacies and other, and other outfits that are uh, selling semaglutide pills in the, um, and it, for, for weight loss, and it says it for weight loss. It, I don't know if they, sometimes they, they use different words and they don't, they're not very specific, but I would, yes, again, it, it does cause weight loss in patients with, di with type two diabetes in the trial. There was significant weight loss there, but it has not yet um, received FDA approval for that form, for that indication being 
a weight loss for obesity, BMI, 27% or, percent or greater, 30% or greater, um, people who are looking to make lifestyle modifications. It makes sense that it probably um, is safe. It makes sense that it's probably very effective, not at the doses that presently is out there, three, seven, and 14 milligrams, but the higher dosing that I think they're trying now likely is going to eventually get uh, FDA approval. But again, here on this channel, at least, we talk about what's evidence-based and we don't have yet evidence um, to uh, promote that indication for um, uh, the oral form of semaglutide AKA um, rebelsis. So that's where I stand. Um, your doctor or your primary care physician or your consultant or whoever else may, may feel a little bit different. Um, here we practice evidence-based medi medicine and I won't, uh, I can't uh, promote um, rebelsis for weight loss. But I can say for my type two diabetics, if you do need it, you will lose some weight. Anyway, if you need some lifestyle modification coaching with me, go ahead and comment coaching or go ahead and look at the link down below and we will see you soon.